Well, in Akron tonight, police are looking for suspects after a triple shooting on Romig Road left a teenager dead and two adults injured. Detectives say a fight started inside a building that hosts musical performances and then gunfire erupted. So News 5's Bob Jones has the latest on this investigation and says nearby businesses rattled by the crime want answers. Akron police raced to Versified Expressions Poetry Cafe after multiple 911 calls reported a shooting on Romig Road around 9.30 Sunday night. Poetry Cafe, there was just shots fired. Romig, okay. right across from Amazon. Police say during a rap performance, there was a fight inside the establishment. It carried over into the parking lot and shots were fired, killing 17-year-old Anthony Elliott, who was a senior at Lincoln West School of Global Studies in Cleveland. A 23-year-old woman and a 32-year-old man were also shot. Their injuries are not considered life-threatening. That is awful. Um, 17 years old. I mean, your entire life ahead of you. And for what? Ryan Martin works nearby at Federated Auto Parts and is disturbed by the violence in an area he says is normally peaceful. He's left with lingering questions. What was the motive? Was it was it money? Was it kids being kids? Um, is, is it a bigger problem around here that we don't even know about? There are multiple businesses on this stretch of Romig Road, including a child care center in the same business strip where the shooting happened and the Amazon Fulfillment Center, which opened in 2020, across the street. We've been here for years, um, never have any incidents during the day for the most part. Um, so hearing about that this morning, it's, it's a little concerning. Akron police are planning to check with Amazon to see if any of their cameras captured any suspects. And we saw a detective going door to door at other businesses looking for any video that could help solve the triple shooting. We hope to um, be able to do that work, comb through that information and evidence to identify the person responsible. Captain Mike Miller says the shooting is another tragic example of gun violence taking a young life and finding the killer is a top priority. Again, that scene was very chaotic, a lot of up to uh, 100 or more people and, and people were in various positions leaving immediately after the shots were fired. Ryan hopes the case is solved soon to bring justice to the victims and a sense of calm to the neighborhood. It is concerning that it happened here and it happened at 930 at night. So we just hope they find them. In Akron, Bob Jones, News 5. 24 people have been murdered in Akron this year. Half of those cases, though, have been solved. Last year at this same time, the city had 37 murders.